right now we're going to queue up a uh, last uh, video interview that we did with Dr. Gimeno uh, in the spring. Why is a sleep medicine specialist putting the role of the chief of the orchestra? It's because we have to understand uh, what's behind what caused the problem to not only one, the obvious, but we have to understand everything and uh, deal with it. What do you select as the first approach? How do you plan the treatment? And that's one clinic of the advantages uh, of a multidisciplinary clinic is because you have for one which are patient available multiple and uh, expertise which are available and where the patient learn one medical act is only part of a journey. You don't end there. Then you are going to have to have the re-education. So we have all these people who have expertise and we tell them you have your expertise, but you are going to learn something completely different, which is sleep medicine. And you are going to be a team, and you have your own expertise, and you are going to also teach your colleague uh, from what you know. But at the end, we want that you have absorbed everything to be able to uh, handle patient with sleep disorders. That spot should be part of teaching. And that is uh, what sleep medicine should offer. You know, CG taught that uh, the nighttime symptoms happen before the daytime symptoms, and the nighttime symptoms often appear um, in childhood. And he strongly felt that the multidisciplinary clinic was a necessary service for patients. Now, the multidisciplinary clinic is not a standard care model for, for treating OSA. You know, CG was an uncompromising force. And he was the rock star of sleep medicine, having advanced the field more than any single individual. A few of you here were treated by him. Um, but those, for those of you that never met him, I, I wanted to just highlight one of the awards today that the public would not know about. And this was the Unsung Hero Award that was bestowed upon him by uh, the department at Stanford, and it's not really made public. But what truly typified CG for this award was his passion and his devotion in helping patients. He was a tireless and devoted patient advocate because he was a constant fixture in the sleep clinic and the lab. Many of us doubted if he ever went home, um, save for his change of clothes the next day. We've never met anyone so dedicated to patient care and that he consistently stayed late as the last one in the clinic till 11 p.m. And he came early as the first one to arrive at 7 a.m., continually striving for better outcomes by always seeking better treatments. Many of us cannot sustain this level of devotion, let alone stamina. So while some, I had mentioned some of you have been treated here directly, many of you may have been treated indirectly because over the many decades and the thousands of patients under his direct supervision as an attending physician, he also quietly guided hundreds of patients that were not directly under his care behind the scenes as he was consulted worldwide for the most difficult and complex cases. It is his conviction to improving um, all patients' quality of life affected by sleep disorders that was the single motivation that drove his prolific published research. We oftentimes joke that whatever far-reaching idea or treatment direction that he proposed, that 10 years later, his hunch would be validated by others. So as a group of clinicians whose patients were effectively treated by CG, we honor and salute CG's lifetime of work in the field of sleep medicine. We miss him. Thank you. Yeah.